Good evening. Welcome back to another late night tech talk right here on Total OS Today. How is everybody doing this evening? That I would jump on for a little bit before bedtime. And we'll talk a little bit about uh, ransomware. Is Well, it's back in the news. Do you feel safe going online? Fair question, I suppose. What do you guys think? All right, I'll wait here for some people to jump on, hopefully. An unscheduled live event. It's, um was not expecting to be talking about ransomware, to say the least. Uh, I've talked about it many times before. I've warned about this for the last two or three years. Sometimes I hate it when I'm right, but I'm right. It is currently, what is it, 11.03 p.m. Eastern Time. So I don't know if we get uh, a lot of people jumping on for this live stream. Um, anyway, I'm here if anybody wants to jump on. I'll wait a few more minutes to see what happens. And we'll go into a discussion of ransomware. Oh, goody. So if somebody's there, yeah, stop by and say hello. The weather finally changed today, a little bit warmer for this time of year in Ohio. Man, I hate it when it goes down the 40s at night in Ohio in the summer. Come on, man, I want to go swimming. <laughs> ah, oh well, that's the way it goes. Anyway, Rose, how are you? How it goes with Rose? Ransom your channel with votes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Rose. Yes, everybody must support this channel or I'm quitting. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Rose. How are you? Yep. Anyway, ransomware is back, and it's not fun. Not fun at all. Oh, well. How are you, Rose? How's things going? You may have heard about the latest ransomware attack. Not good. Not good at all. I suppose ransomware is never good, right? <laughs> Die. Anyway, let me get him pop out the chat here and make it a little bit easier for me. We'll just do it this way. I guess the stream is working. Can you guys hear me okay? Do this, go over here. You like having the live chats? Yeah, so do I. It's um lucky having these live chats. Well, I'm glad you're here. It's always uh, a joy to talk with you guys and girls. Uh, it's more fun when there's immediate interaction. Um, you know, I, I, I think part of what's going on on YouTube you know, with content creators and um, advertising and stuff like that, I think live events, that's that's the future. At least that's part of it. You know, immediate interactions and stuff like that. So let's see, Rose. Nope, as long as you have your kernel updated. I guess that means that you feel safe as long as you have your kernel updated. That's certainly fair. Yeah, I, I think it's important to have... Uh, uh, well, no matter what operating system you use, uh, it's important to be updated. Uh, at least that's how I see it. I feel relatively safe going online. I guess it could be, uh, you can hear me well. Okay, thanks, Rose. Yeah, I suppose I feel a little bit safer in Linux than I do in Windows, uh, Windows 10. But I'm good. I mean, I'm good either way because I always, uh, of course, Windows 10, the, the, up, the updates are automatic, and that's one good thing. So you don't forget to uh, update the uh, security updates on the system. So, yeah. Firewall up. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely, Rose. Yep. A good updated system really is a, is a, is a, is a combination of things. Uh, in Windows 10, I'll use... Um, well, of course, I use the built-in uh, Windows Defender, which seems to work. I use uh, malware bytes, uh, super anti-spyware, some other things. But I think 
just keeping the system updated. That's probably a 90% of it. Um, hi, Mark. Good day to you. How are you this day or evening, depending where you're at? It is evening for me. It is 11.07 p.m. Eastern Time. Let's go ahead and transition the scene here. There we go. But, um, yeah, keeping the system updated. I guess it's looking good here. Keeping the system updated is definitely the way to go, no matter what you use. But, yeah, I'm here tonight because you may have heard about the latest um, ransomware attack. Um, let me see if I can bring it up. I think I was just browsing through this. I think I deleted the page, so let's get out of that. Yeah, if you just type in ransomware, go to news. It's everywhere. Oh, let's see here. Analysts think Petya ransomware was built for targeted destruction. Well, I don't think it was built for targeted construction, right? Safe sites also. Yeah, going to certain sites, roads definitely helps uh, as far as preventing ransomware. Yes. Uh, 1.07 p.m. in Australia. Very good. I guess that's good timing for me and for you, Mark. But um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, targeted destruction, uh, how the global mess all began. I'm just reading these highlights or lowlights of the titles here. Uh, here's who the massive ransomware at attack hit hardest. Oh, uh, boy. Why ransomware attacks keep happening because it's relatively easy to initiate and it's it's profitable. Uh, that's my guess why they keep happening. Companies, governments assess damage from latest to ransomware. Uh, let's see. NotPetya is a cyber weapon. Yeah, I would say it is. How artificial intelligence is taking on ransomware. Hmm. And it goes on. Why this ransomware attack is more alarming. I think all ransomware should be alarming. Should be a cause for, for concern, right? Hello, Liam. Welcome to the late night tech show. Yeah. Ransomware is a real threat, but don't forget the botnets. Of course. Anyway. Ransomware is alive because it's it's not everybody knows how to keep their uh, computer secure. And there are still people using outdated systems or pirated, you know, operating systems that are that are prime, that are perfect pickings for ransomware attack. And as long as the what's the word I'm looking for? As long as the opportunities are are out there for the initiator of ransomware it's going to keep on happening and as long as they keep making a profit you know as long as they keep making you know spending money to buy their next computer at best buy <laughs> that's what's going to happen so yeah toss had too much coffee that's <laughs> actually no tonight rose i did not go out to my local tim hortons to have coffee i did not I was on the phone with a friend of mine from Florida, chatting for a little bit, and I just thought I would jump on for a few minutes, talk to you guys, and just, you know, alert you guys to the latest ransomware attack if you haven't uh, heard of it already. Most of you probably have, I would imagine, but no coffee tonight. I think I'll sleep better tonight, Rose, with <laughs> not the attack of caffeine, yeah. Ransomware attack on DLA Piper. For some reason, for a second, I read ransomware attack on diaper. <laughs> That's what I, crossed my mind for a brief second. I know, it's silly. <sighs> diaper attack. Yeah, sure. No problem. So the best way to prevent ransomware, again, I've talked about this before, is keep your system up to date. If you're really, really paranoid, I suppose just use more Linux than Windows, but... Linux is not immune to malware or ransomware. It can happen. So keep your system up to date. Um, watch the websites that you go to. 
Don't use copied or pirated operating systems. That's boy, that's so prime for a ransomware attack. It's attacking those Windows users like toss. Uh, not yet. Uh, caffeine usually attacks me at night when I drink too much, Rose, but no ransomware for me. No, I think I'll pass on that ransomware. Thanks, but no, thank you. I suppose that'd be one good way to support the channel. It's <laughs> just attack all the people <laughs> with ransomware and said, you're going to have to pay up to support this channel or you're going to lose all your files and folders. So, yeah. <laughs> I, nah, I would never do that. Oh, anyway, let's check a few more websites before we call it a night. I won't be staying on uh, too late tonight. Let's go to Linux today, another decent website to see what's going on. Why the Ubuntu phone failed? I guess convergence wasn't hot. Hot item. That's how I see it. Cylon, the Arch Linux maintenance program. Interesting. Uh, Ubuntu Budgie 1704, new kid on the block. I think I've tested Budgie once. It's, it was okay. Any of you guys messed with Budgie? Surprise there's nothing here about the ransomware attack, unless it's at the bottom. No, I'm not seeing anything. Let's try OMG Ubuntu. See if anything's on there. How's my signal here? Good? Stream good? Okay, good enough. Wormhole is a fast, secure way to send files to other users through the CLI. Interesting title. App Wormhole, as in Star Trek Wormhole, right? Ubuntu Mate has a new software boutique. That's interesting. LibreOffice launches competition to find new mascot. How about a uh, kangaroo? <laughs> Couple new laptops from Entroware. You use Solus if you consider that budgie. Well, if it works, why not? Gnome Shell is finally improving its search results page. Hmm. Okay. Mir might live on as a Wayland compositor for the Mate desktop. Well, that's interesting. I thought Mir was dropped. Hmm. It never ends, does it? Okay, let's go to... What else do I usually check? Noobs Lab. Let's check out Noobs Lab and see what's new. I think the best defense against ransomware is a good offline backup. Yeah, makes sense, Mark. Both an image of the OS and copies of files. Yep, sounds reasonable to me, absolutely. Hello, Leol 692K7. Uh, by the way, I was wondering if you ever heard from Edge226. No, I have not. Have not. Let's see what's new here. Cool retro term is a great mimic of old command lines. Nah, I don't think so. Winamp alternative QMMP audio player for Ubuntu Linux. Hmm, that's interesting. Try this brightness controller program. Didn't think there was a need for that for laptops. Hmm. Darktable. That's a pretty decent app for photography. I think I took a look at that once. Top three Linux laptops for 2017. I may have to take a look at that. Advantages of using Linux. Oh, definitely got to take a look at that, right? Let's take a look at this one first real quick. I'm surprised there's no mention of ransomware here either. Oh well. I guess it wouldn't be on Noob's, Noob's Lab, huh? Let's see what do we have here. Let's see. Nowadays more and more laptops replace personal computers. Are they? I don't know. Not me. 
All right, so the top three Linux laptops, the Alpha Light Book. I do not know of it. Uh, Prism Librem 13, privacy oriented laptop. Not aware of that one either. System 76, I've heard of the Galago Pro. Uh, let's see, very thin, modern, well thought out. It has a high DPI screen. Okay, well, there you go with the three top Linux laptops, according to Noobs Lab. Uh, let's go back here. Now let's take a look at this. Advantages over Linux, using Linux over Windows. I guess one advantage is less ransomware, maybe? I don't know. Probably so. Despite the fact that Windows is immensely more popular than Linux, that doesn't necessarily make it better. Okay, fine. At least not in every sense, there are some ways in which Linux is actually far better than Windows and has a significant advantage. Okay, fine. No way in any portable device like a laptop or tablet would replace a desktop. I would have to agree. I mean, I can't see myself doing... Well, I suppose I could do videos on a tablet, cell phone, laptop, but to render them and do editing... Nah, I think I want to sit in a chair on a desktop and table and all that stuff, yeah. Alright, so the advantages of Linux over Windows. Non-existent costs. As you probably know, you need to purchase an original copy of Windows or a license in order to install it. That can be fairly, that can be fairly pricey. On the other hand, Linux is open source and completely free for some versions. Well, this is somewhat debatable because if you download something that doesn't work or have problems, the cost is your precious time. So as far as non-existent costs, I'm not sure I'm buying that. What distro would you recommend for a laptop notebook? Bros, it all depends on the specifications, but that being said, if you have something slow or fast, old or new, check out Ubuntu Mate, I think it's fine. Yeah, um, maybe Linux Mint, XFCE. Um, but yeah, I would check out Ubuntu Mate first, Rose, because that can go either way. Desktop, laptop, uh, outdated machine, not not too outdated. New machine. If you have a new machine, Ubuntu Mate will fly. Um, maybe Linux Lite. But yeah, I would, I would, look, I, I, I still consider Ubuntu Mate the Linux gold standard, so definitely check it out first, Rose, yeah. So, non-existent cost. Okay, that's not entirely accurate. Uh, let's see here. Full customization, although Windows allows for some customization, is often skin deep and only covers certain areas. Areas we with Linux. All right, fine. I'll give the full customization win to Linux. Uh, let's see. You always give a donation to each try use. So very good, Rose. Yeah, absolutely. Well, speaking of distributions, diverse distributions. It is important to note that there are several distributions of Linux, each of which caters to a different set of needs. Yes, depending on your needs and how you tend to use your computer. So, Rose, there you go. I was just talking about, yeah, if you have a laptop, um, netbook or notebook, uh, definitely check out a light distribution and uh, check out Ubuntu Mate. And you can also check out Zubuntu, Lubuntu. You know, there are some other ones out there. Anyway, security. Well, Linux is not immune but if you want to get picky, Linux is probably more secure right now. So I suppose I could give, give the edge to Linux, but that's narrowing. You know, it's, it's yeah, security is not my number one reason why I use Linux. It's, <laughs> I suppose my number one reason is updates. It's easier to update Linux or faster to update Linux distro than it is in Windows. So security, maybe a slight edge to Linux. What do you guys think? Ubuntu Mate is great. Yep, you have an iFi desktop and it runs great, Liam. I'm, I'm sure it does. Yeah, it's. I think the minimum RAM, uh, man, minim, minimum, blah, 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 minimum RAM for Ubuntu Mate is 512. If you have a gig or more, it should be fine. You're welcome, Rose. Yeah. All right, we talked about security, uh, hardware requirements. Well, I guess this falls, you know, in right in line. New versions of Windows typically have hef hefty hardware requirements. True. 
Although I will say this, uh, I've installed, well, maybe it doesn't count, but I installed the Windows 10 in my six-year-old um, desktop with just four gig of RAM, and it runs fine. But yeah, I, I would give the edge to um, hardware requirements. Of course, if you have newer hardware, it doesn't matter. But if you have older stuff, I will give the edge to Linux, sure. Uh, slow Windows update is 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 horrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, Leal. Yeah, it's it takes its time. It works, but it takes its time. I prefer the process in in Linux. Uh, but at least you can defer <laughs> the rebooting process. I think I think you can defer the updates up to a week, which does help a little bit. So, but yeah, I'll definitely give the update edge to Linux. Let's see, anything else interesting? Well, let's just type in Linux to see where, we're, where it takes us for this evening. Uh, anti yeah, Anti-X, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's another one I've tested. It should be okay, sure. Oh, isn't this lovely? Linux malware gaining favor among cyber criminals. Shh! Don't tell everybody that Linux should be safer. See, now the secret's exposed. Linux malware is becoming a more important tool for cyber criminals as these individuals focus a greater portion. Thanks a lot, Toss, for sharing and exposing the great Linux desktop. So now ransomware criminals can attack us all. Thanks, Toss. I swear it's not my fault. Jeez, cannot top tonight. Leo, you've been hit with... um. Uh, uh, typing malware lightus or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you had too much coffee tonight, Leol. Yeah. So, it looks like they we're, we're being targeted more by ransomware. In Linux. Linux systems and the hackers crosshairs. Oh no! Shields up, Scotty. Run VMs on that six-year-old desktop under Windows 10. It won't run well. Uh, but, but, uh, with four gigs of RAM, probably not. Eight gigs of RAM, I'm sure would be fine. Yeah, yeah. But uh, with four gigs of RAM, I suppose I could, Liam. But no, thank you. Type itemus. Yeah. Type itemus. Type itemus. Type itemus. That sounds like a Roman citizen. Hail type itemus, Caesar, type itemus. And, and, and anyway. So, ransomware is coming to Linux. Oh joy. What else do we have here? How to keep Linux from hanging up on you. Oh, I don't recall having a problem. Speaking of hanging up, I believe if you're running an older version of Skype, uh, especially in Linux, it will not run come July 1st. I got another notification from Skype or Microsoft or whoever owns the freaking thing. But that's fine. I've tested the, the new version. It's fine. I don't have a problem. So, Hey, Rose, this is for you. How to choose the best Linux distro for your laptop. Hey, looks like they heard you, Rose. <laughs> I have a good timing tonight, don't I? Hello, Penguin. Now watch, I'll scroll to this and, and Ubuntu Mate won't be mentioned once. Watch, watch, Rose, watch. Let's try it. Uh, let's see here. Where are the distros? Are they gonna mention anything? <laughs> Get a Chromebook. There there you go, Rose. Get a Chromebook with Linux pre-installed. That'll solve your problem. Ha ha. Uh, let's see. You remember that Mac users said the same thing with virus and malware. It's how many users users one has built. But Linux developers would work faster to solve the problem. Yeah, yeah I suppose that's true. Uh, Ubuntu Studio is mentioned. Interesting. That's heavy, though. I don't know. For an old laptop. Vortex box. I haven't heard of these. Vortex box is a distro. Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Open Seuss. Fedora. Oh, there's Ubuntu. Ubuntu was mentioned. Okay. 
Uh, Steam controller. They, they didn't really talk much about the Distros here, did they? They mentioned Ubuntu. Yeah, Ubuntu Mate still for me for a laptop. I guess, I guess this, this should come as no surprise as Linux is going to be targeted for malware, for ransomware. I wonder if it's going to be more difficult, to, though, to attack Linux desktops. I don't know. Let's click this real quick, see what they have to say. Let's see. We have an ad. Come on, get it out of the way. Come on. I should install the reader view in this. Come on. Ah, <sighs> fine. I'll read it darkly. Let's see here. Linux attacks and malware on the rise. We believe this is because systematic weaknesses in IoT devices. Oh, interesting. 99% uh, of Linux malware is delivered over the web. No, it, of course malware is delivered over the web. No, it's delivered Federal Express on a Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. I had to get out of that. I couldn't read it. Okay, but hackers use Linux, so they will attack back. Um, okay, all right. Maybe they will. I don't know. Let's go to Windows 10 news, see what's up. Well, let's see. Let's see what do we have here. Go to news. Microsoft is secretly planning a new advanced mode for Windows 10. Ah, would that advance would that advanced mode be complete privacy? <laughs> sure, toss, sure, no problem. Ah, uh, let's see. How to stop Windows 10 apps from automatically launching at launching at startup, no big deal there. Hello Slack, how are you? Funny how the word hacker is being used in the wrong context. The bad guys are called crackers. Oh, okay. Eight ways to clear up drive space of Windows 10. Number one, install Linux. <laughs> so, anyway. Linux will be more difficult to attack. It is more secure by design, okay. Like running an app. That needs root, actually requires password rather than the UAC, which is crap, tries to block, but can be passed easily. Yeah, I would say right now, Liam, I do feel a little bit more secure in Linux than Windows 10. So for those of you joining late or watching this late, we've been talking about uh, ransomware, the latest ransomware attack. Ransomware, I believe the frequency is going to grow as long as people don't keep their operating systems either up to date use pirated operating systems, uh, open up fishy emails, uh, stuff like that. So as long as there is a profit, the profiteers will continue to do their thing. Yeah, that's how I see it, no matter what operating system you use. But yes, I generally feel a little bit more um, stable, secure in Linux. Let me go to one more website. I think I may wrap this up for tonight. Ars Technica, I like going to occasionally. Here we go. Yeah, much worse. Payload delivered a mass attack destroys no hope of recovery. Oh. Well, I thought the purpose of ransomware was to extract money to get your data back. I guess it doesn't matter once you're hit. 
No hopes of recovery. I did not know that. Wow. That's not good. Huh. That's pretty bad. Yeah. That's very bad. The distro check, their programs on like Windows download. I'm not sure what you mean, Rose. Uh, if if you're downloading a distro, I would check the MD5 to make sure it's not corrupted as far as checking goes. You know, checking the download from vague sources. Well, yeah, I mean, sure you need to be careful about that, yeah. Judges refuse to order a fix for court software that put people in jail by mistake. Ugh, that's not good. Cute doggy. <laughs> Our furry friends are getting fat just like us. One in three are overweight. <laughs> well, join the club, pooch. Oh, man. Uh, the repositories. You need to watch. the. Yes, you need to watch that, too. Yeah. There can be malware in that, Rose. Yes. Uh, oh, what's the man drives into Ten Commandments monument in Arkansas, streams it on Facebook. Uh, someone commanded him to drive into the Ten Commandments. It's like a news and nonsense thing. Jeez, why would you want to do that? Whatever. London police arrest Ford window support scam bust. Oh, interesting. When hair loss scandal exposed dirty on when? Oh, yeah, I see, I see commercials for that. Huh. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. Jeff Bezos is building rocket engines in, in Alabama because he will be selling those on Amazon soon, won't he? That's interesting. C. Ross, hello. I'm interested in topic. I run, I run Linux. Feel rather secure. I update regularly as Arch user. Perhaps I should be more careful. Yeah. Uh, C. Ross, no operating system, at least today, no OS is immune. And I believe more attacks or potential attacks to Linux is coming. But tonight we've been discussing ransomware. Do you feel safe going online? Uh, I, for now, I would have to say for now, I stress for now, Linux is probably a little bit safer. Uh, Lavos, yes, Ars Technica. It's just a tech website for news uh, stuff like that. Yeah, check it out. It's it's um it's pretty good. I mean, I also check out Linux Today, Noobs Lab, and other websites. But yeah, check out Ars Technica. I've I've always enjoyed browsing uh, through it. Uh, I thought scammers are usually from India. No, that is not true. They are not from India. We are usually from China. Rose from China. <laughs> Google News website gets redesigned. That looks like something from this decade. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, um, check out um, Ars Technica. Let's see. Samsung's fiery Galaxy Note 7 to rise from the ashes. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's take a look at that as the Famdom Edition. Hmm, that's interesting. Samsung has admitted to five billion dollars in losses. Wow, from the unprecedented recall. Well, you should have given each uh, each each user. Each buyer a free fire extinguisher, Samsung? Come on. Yeah, check it out, Lavos. It's a decent website. Uh, I thought Amazon is one of those companies that are secretly going bankrupt. I don't think so, Rose. They they just have volume. Uh, their their, their, their uh, percentage may be not as high in terms of per sale, but because of the volume they do, I think they're doing quite well. Yeah, quite well. I mean, I have an affiliate link with Amazon. 
know, sometimes I'll post affiliate links. If you do some shopping, consider using that so I get a, like a small commission. It's not a lot, but if, if Amazon was losing money, they would not allow, you know, content creators like myself, they would not allow me to have affiliate links because they, then they would have to keep all the money for themselves, Ro. So I think they're doing quite well. Very well. Yeah. Um... In computing, a hacker is any skilled computer expert that uses their technical knowledge to overcome a problem. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Amazon can't be bankrupt. Not today, but like they say, what goes up, what, what goes up must come down. So maybe one day they might. Yeah. Uh, remember, toss everyone everyone should make a comment before you leave well um, as far as um, commenting goes make sure you vote um, for this month's YouTuber of the month that there's a few days left there wasn't a lot of votes two three uh, I, I cracked the joke this month's winner YouTuber of the month is apathy no feeling one way or the other but things things kind of tend to slow down in summer people doing other things but if, if you feel there is someone on YouTube Bros or anybody listening uh, that deserves more attention. Uh, one comment equals one vote. It does not necessarily have to be about technology. As far as that goes, if you're watching, stopping by, say hello. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel and consider supporting the channel through Patreon or PayPal, um, I posted a Linux Newbies podcast that I think that might be interested in that. But I'm going to go strictly by uh, what you guys think or what the supporters think of continuing a series like the Linux Newbies. If someone finds the Linux Newbies podcast something viable, they consider supporting that uh, for as little as a dollar a month uh, on PayPal or Patreon. And make sure you tell me it's for something like that so I'll know if you decide to contribute that way or just contribute to the channel. But if you contribute for a specific um, uh, you know, topic, please let me know. And I'll definitely consider that. Uh, but Rose, yeah, thanks for reminding me as far as at least commenting for this month's YouTuber of the Month anyway. So, where are we here? Uh, let's see. So, yeah, this was the Note 7. Ugh, Walmart suit after teen steals machete and kills her Uber Ugh. Not good. Anyway, new Star Trek series will abandon Gene Roddenberry's Cardinal Rule. How dare they abandon Cardinal Rule? What is, what is Gene Roddenberry's Cardinal Rule? I don't know what that means. Uh, for the first time, a Trek series will show main characters in a negative light. Oh no, too much caffeine. <laughs> well, Star Trek, what's this called? Star Trek. Uh, what is it called? Star Trek Discovery? Uh, I guess this this is still in production. I'm looking forward to it when it's done. Speaking of TV, TV series, um, uh, the, the writers for the new 10-episode uh, X-Files are in place. They start shooting, I believe, this summer sometime to be released starting January. I'm looking forward for the next X-Files series. It should be pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Looking good, all right. Anyway, what else is on your mind, guys, before I call it a night? Uh, four people in the UK have been arrested for claiming to be for MS support, MS support, a joint operation and of MS in the City of London. Police uncovered them. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, chances are it's probably a scam. If you get a call saying uh, you you definitely need to cl clean your computer, please send us five gazillion dollars before your computer expires. Well, I guess scamming will never end either, huh? Anyway. Bad video settings. I hope it's not too bad. But yeah, that's all I have for this evening. Just a relatively short one this time. Uh, we talked about ransomware. Uh, considering ransomware is on the news, uh, do you feel safe? 
still feel safe. I, I still do. You know, I, I keep my systems up to date as much as possible. And I mean, really, in, in the end, what else can you do? I suppose if you want to be completely safe, the, the safest computer is the one that, that does not go online, right? At least that that's how I see it. So, yeah. So, anyway. Anything else, guys, before I wrap this up? Thanks, everyone, for stopping by for these unscheduled live events. Always a pleasure talking to you guys. Shooting the breeze, as it were, just ch chit-chatting. And, um... Yeah, we'll definitely do more of these. Hoping to do uh, a news and nonsense with the uh, Destination Linux guys, with uh, Rob and Rocco, Big Daddy Linux. Haven't done a news and nonsense in a while. Usually do one with Stephanie, but she's on vacation. She's back from Germany with her f uh, family here in the States. So I wish her well-deserved rest. So, But yeah, that's all I have for this evening. Uh, be safe out there, whether you're on the computer online or, you know, driving. Of course, don't text and drive. That still needs to be said. But, yeah, be definitely be safe out there. So, Take care, Mark, Leol, everybody else who joined me on the live stream. This has been a Total OS Today uh, late night tech talk. It was a lot of fun. Let's do it again. Subscribe and support this Total OS Today technology channel. Always a pleasure. I'll catch you next time. Take care.